Why do you think CC struggled today? Have to watch back a little bit, but um, <clears throat> again, maybe just looked like a lot on the plate. You know, struggling again to really have that sharpness with his cutter. Thought he threw some good sliders in there, um, but but I'd have to watch it back. It just seemed like the, the crispness of his cutter and, and the little bit of inconsistency. And then you know they they did a good job when they got a pitch on the plate of uh, putting it play in play with some authority. You went to Green for an extended period of time, then Holder, then Canely. What did you like about Canely in that situation? Um, just trying to ho hoping he could he could get through and, and keep it there enough for us to continue to fight back and um, yeah I think we're at five one at that point and uh, you know got himself into some trouble a couple big outs and then the the blooper that looked like um, he was going to get out of the inning just unable to so um, and then we we kept fighting. Uh, love the love the fight all day. You know we had some opportunities obviously early that we didn't capitalize on. Finally we were able to break through there, but um, you know a frustrating one there. I believe you had Robertson warming earlier. Why not Robertson in that situation? Had we got it to um, two or three runs, we would have. I mean at some point, you know <clears throat> when you're four and five runs down, and and you're using up all your leverage guys in multi innings, you know. You know, you, you gotta you gotta be prudent at some point. Kenny, Aaron, do you have any concerns about what you've seen recently from CC in the last last handful of starts? Um, you know, a little bit with the inconsistency, just just finding his cutter because um, it's obviously that cutter is so important to him. I feel like the slider the last couple times has been better. Um, I feel like he's flashed a good cutter, but still just struggling to find that real good consistency where, you know, he talks about driving it in, in and, and when he's good with it, he can elevate it and really get that crispness in on the hands of righties. Dan? You talked before the game about how important it was to carry some momentum, you know, into the playoffs. Right. And and now I think it's eight and ten in the last eighteen. At what point does that become, you know, not just a, a small sample size and something that is worrying? When we go home, I mean, we're we have a group in there capable of of uh, of turning this thing in a heartbeat, and we just got to keep battling through this right now. Uh, I feel like we are showing some signs of pulling ourselves out of it a little bit but we got to do better we got to get more consistent and that's been the toughest thing for us right now it's like you know we put one you know we come out yesterday like gangbusters really play well and then kind of fall back today to keep from getting that role but i also feel like we're just a few games away from really getting on that role to where we can start rolling downhill and start beating some people up and we got to get there uh, uh, yeah. uh, dave and then across and do, do you think that's just been getting some of these guys back piecemeal that's kind of prevented you guys from clicking? I mean, Didi looks like he's starting to yeah. hit the ball, obviously, like he can. So Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's just getting kind of everyone clicking a little bit. Um, I definitely feel like Didi's gaining some traction in a big way. Obviously, he's really starting to play well for us and s starting to have a lot of quality at bats. Um, you know, as we get more and more people into the fold, hopefully that's, that's going to continue to help but but getting that consistency from from everyone that you know allows our lineup to be uh really dynamic when we're getting getting contributions from everyone so i feel like we're getting closer to that but um you know we got to get there too all right i know you wanted to get miguel uh a day off today and he ends up coming in and he gets the huge hit there is, mm -hmm. is there something just in his makeup that just makes him so good in those late spots and those Seventh inning or later spots, I think he has. Um, yeah, I mean, I think part of it's makeup. I think he's he's shown, um, you know, again this year, having turned everything he's got, having nothing handed to him, and kind of has taken this job and run with it. And um, but on top of that, I think what we've seen is a really gifted hitter, and uh, you know, able to handle a lot of different pitches um and you know he, he's been as consistent offensively for us as r really anyone and so it's you know he's a, he's one of those guys that anytime he comes up in a situation in a tough spot um you know off a tough pitcher you know you like seeing him in the in the box especially with runners on base 
Wally. Aaron, CC obviously has had a great career, but considering your concerns with him right now, would you be comfortable giving him the ball in a postseason game? Sure. And and again, I, I feel like he's close enough um, where, you know, there's no question he's been inconsistent his last few, few times out. But um, I think we've seen enough with with his stuff that he just needs to find it on a more consistent basis, obviously. And, um, you know, he's got a couple starts here at the end of the season to continue to try and get there. And, you know, hopefully we'll see that improvement. Um, but, you know, he's a guy that, um, you know, obviously the moment of postseason is not, not going to affect him at all. And, and, and you hope even bring out the best in him. Dan, do you know if uh, Sheffield is coming up? Uh, we haven't had that. Uh, we haven't discussed the post games. To, have they played yet? They played. They they, they, they lost. They lost. Were, there were reports that he's coming up. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll. I don't. I don't want to until I talk to everyone back there. We'll see. And I know you say you know you pay attention to everyone in, in baseball. Um, the fact that the A's you know, the A's are could close to within half a game of you. Does that does that mean anything to you? Does that number that getting smaller mean something to you? Does that stand out at all? just you know we're in a dog fight you know the, these games are really important and you know what they do you know doesn't change it but th these games are really important and it's important that we we put our best foot forward and um we're in a good position to to get to where we want to go but we got to go take it okay thank you mm -hmm.